Okay, now I'll ask for a question. Hello, Ms. Tyler. Hello. What is kinesiology? Kinesiology. Oh, you better tell us. <laughs> so kinesiology is the science that studies human movement. Oh. So I did a very general major where I studied a bit of everything. So anatomy, physiology, um, nutrition, what adaptive... Language? Not exactly. No, it's more to do with the movement, like um, uh, personal training or adaptive physical um, activity for even kids with disabilities. Oh. So like for example, oh and also a bit of physiotherapy. So for example, if you have weak knees, then what type of activities can you do? To strengthen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, interesting. I'm just curious, Ms. Yes? Your last name, what is that? Druin? Oh, so it's my father's last name. He's French-Canadian. My father? Yes, he's from Quebec. So you speak French? Oh, I'm learning. Unfortunately, yeah. I am still in the learning process. <laughs> Just a little bit. You speak Thai? Yes, I speak Thai. Sonny Ha. Oh, Sonny Ha. You don't have any accent. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's, that's good to know. <laughs> I like in your eco video your concept of Mother Earth as an extension of the home. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your, uh, let's say, top three tips of how at home we can make a real difference in our daily lives? Well, definitely changing to an LED bulb and also saving energy via, it could be turning off the lights or just saving water. Um, but actually, the one that I really like most is the living room. Originally, I wanted to say, think of Mother Earth as an extension of your living room. Because when you're in the living room, the family does activities together and you're really sharing the energy right there. And most of the activities you do as a family, it's pretty much like board games or just talking and it's not really doing any like video games or anything that's using energy. Miss mm -hmm. Thailand, you're yes. very slime. Oh, thank you. Which is <laughs> beautiful. Um, how effective is beauty in your opinion in actually achieving um, goals, environmental goals in society? Um, well personally I don't think beauty leads to success as much as intelligence, the ability to inspire and motivate people. So beauty can maybe, it can catch your attention like initially but in order to keep them really just knowing about us and just staying with us and stay motivated and inspired is to do with what you say and the words you choose to, to say to help that action. Miss Thailand, I have been a big fan of your late king. Yes. And he had a lot of environmental programs. Yes. What is the, what have you learned from him? What have I learned from him? So definitely the sufficiency economy philosophy, it's to really um, just live the middle ground, be reasonable, think about other people and not take advantage. So one of the lessons that I learned was dreams are probably one of the things that some people may only have, so don't destroy dreams. And that's one of the things I use today. Like some people just have the environment as a way to live their dreams. And if we destroy the environment, then what else, what hope do we leave for them? Time's up. Thank you very much, Ms. Tyler. And now